got your cartoon, the man who wears the star, the big, bright, Mexico star. Another nice mess you've gotten me into. The last time, good luck and good night, Chet. Good luck, David, and good night for NBC News. Just let her put you in the driver's seat today. <laughs> Calling Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. Calling Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Good morning. It is Monday, the 12th of February, which back in the old days of the baby boomers going to grammar school was Lincoln's birthday. <clears throat> it's a gorgeous day across the country, I hope for you. Interesting weekend, absolutely amazing as far as politics goes, but that goes without saying nowadays in the United States. The uh, special prosecutor attorney in the Department of Justice came out with the report on Joe Biden that basically he's a tottering old man. He should not be prosecuted for having classified documents in his garage, in his ca car's unlocked anywhere across his residence because he's just too old and he's memory forgetful. Well, the White House went nuts. The Democratic Party's going nuts and all of the allies of the Democratic Party, along with the TV stations, and now is going to circle the wagons and prove that Joe Biden is not the doddering old fool that the special counsel said he was. He's a vibrant and all his experiences of a dollar in his pocket, better for us that he's doing it. Sort of goes against what we actually have been seeing the last three years here, where you've seen an old man walking like an old man, getting lost like an old man, falling down like an old man, speaking gibberish like an old man. And this is the leader of our country, theoretically, an old man. They say there's two things definite in life. Death and taxes. Well, put it this way. As Butch Cassidy said to the Sundance Kid, every day you get older. That's the law. And he's an old man. He won the election by sitting in his cellar, not being questioned very much by reporters because they were mounting an attack on Donald Trump. The Democratic Party was mounting an attack on Donald Trump. Russian collusion, spies, incompetence, a bully, everything that they could think of the press and the Democratic Party made you believe that Donald Trump was the worst man ever to inhabit the face of this planet. Joe Biden said nothing. I'm the alternative. I'm going to bring us together. Well, we've seen how that's gone. He can't do that anymore. He cannot debate because he cannot hold a thought because he's an old man. You know, if it, uh, what was the saying? If it walks like a duck, swims like a duck, flies like a duck, and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Joe Biden is an old man, forgetful. And as I said months ago in one of these podcasts, he is not going to be the nominee of the Democratic Party. They're going to dump him at the convention. You're going to get a whole new slate which is going to be interesting. It was interesting during the Super Bowl. They had an ad for Robert F. Kennedy. <clears throat> and if you replay it, the audio from that ad, and maybe even the graphics outside of Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s picture, 
were from John F. Kennedy's campaign. It brought back memories how political ads used to be. It was effective. It brought back memories. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the Democratic Party in the upcoming months leading up to their convention. Fannie Willis, the prosecutor in Georgia, is about to implode. Her employees are about to squeal on her more so than anybody else is about the corruption in her office and the bringing of charges against Donald Trump. Remember, the White House is saying this is all political, the uh, special counsel's report. Every charge brought against Trump by Fannie Willis is political. She ran her campaign on the fact that she is going to put Donald Trump in jail. All political. Now it's coming apart. A lot of his cases are coming apart because they're all put together by the Democratic Party, the Department of Justice weaponized by the Democratic Party, and the press. It's going to be interesting to see now because he's got a rule on the documents in Trump's possession at Mar-a-Lago, which was locked, guarded, unlike Joe Biden's garage. Let's see what happens there because they're going to have to come up with something. And the White House is going to pressure him. Got to put this guy away because Joe's not going to be there. And if Joe's not going to be there, we don't want this guy to be there. <clears throat> Interesting political season. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Go to HowdyBoomy.com for gifts for baby boomers. Watch the Howdy Boomy podcast daily on the Howdy Boomy channel on YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. God bless America.